so some context uh before this video so i recorded a whole clip um and it, i got i deleted it on x oh i didn't delete it i deleted it on purpose um trying to free up some storage on my my laptop but i ended up deleting it and i didn't realize that if i deleted the original file that the copied file in iMovies would be corrupted and thus my editing and would also be corrupted and so yeah anyways this clip um like like last episode i said i was gonna go to bow tower and so what i did in this clip was i went to bow tower it was like a 22 minute clip i went to bow tower um i talked to some of the mbcs um there was an mbc selling tams I talked about those a little bit there was a, a mbc selling items and i talked about like a little bit of the competitive items uh, i'm not gonna really go into detail about it because at this point it's not really that important um, there was a trainer, or there was a person who gave me type null. So I got a type null with like brave nature, and you know, a bunch of the, the memories. Um, yeah, and so this was like literally my first time checking out uh, Battle Tower, and so this was like a new experience for, for like Battle Tower for me. And so um, I went in with um, was Dracopult, Frost Moth, and Toxicity, and I did two battles. And then after doing two battles, I ranked up. Um, again, it, later in the video, this this won't make sense. But I ranked up, and um, I was kicked out. I got like rare candy, and I'm like, wow, I do not understand the new battle tower. Um, and so uh, after that, what I did was um, I recorded that clip, um, and then I'm like, okay, I'm on a four. Like I'm just gonna record more battle tower. But before I record more about Tower, I'm going to prepare. Because one, I want to research it. Because I don't care about spoilers. I said I didn't care about spoilers once I finished the game. And then two, I want to um, train some Pokemon. Um, because Bow Tower, um, I guess similarly, is, is different. But in terms of battling, it's still the same. And where you need, um, you kind of need competitive, what I consider competitive Pokemon. Pokemon that you specifically train to battle. Um, and so yeah, that's what I did off camera. That's I train some competitive Pokemon uh, for the purpose of defeating Battle Tower. And of course, yeah, I explain what Battle Tower is uh, later in the video. Um, and yeah, pretty foolish of me deleting the 22 minute clip. But uh, in the end, whatever. I mean, this video is gonna be super long. So I guess like an extra 20 minutes shaving off this video is good, I guess. But yeah, continuing with the video. well welcome back to pokemon um for me this has been many days later and i've done a lot of things um so like i said the final thing i'm gonna do in this pokemon playthrough is or at least the main playthrough is to go through the um, battle tower and yes i did change my outfit and the pokemon that i bred up just to explain it real quickly uh, i bred up a gonovore a lucario and a high dragon so um you know i got my hoenn pokemon and my Sinnoh pokemon and my yunobo pokemon you know the three best regions um but yeah so i ev trained the gonovore here um so all the um evs you know is our effort values that you can train your pokemon in a casual playthrough you usually just get random evs but when you want competitive pokemon you kind of train them and you can train them really easily in this game in particular because of a poke job um, you literally train Pokemon IVs. Um, you just need to wait. It's really nice, actually. Um, but anyways, the Gone over here. Um, 252 in special attack, 129 in HP and 129 speed. Um, so for this Gone over, I kind of wanted her to be. I didn't. I wanted her to hit hard, so she is max on attack, a modest nature, so that she boosts her attack. So yeah, I just want her to just hit hard. Um, decent. I want her to be decently tanky because she has pretty high special defense, right? I want her to be decently tanky, um, and so and like decently uh, statted in speed. So her speed is nowhere near um Lucario and High Dragon speed. But her speed is decent enough, I think. Um, I did kind of want to not want her to be too slow. Um, and I gave her Calm Mind, Thunderbolt, Moonblast, and Psychic. Of course, Psychic and Moonblast are just um just strong stab moves thunderbolt something just just uh you know round out the move set and i have calm mind there i don't really like calm mind because i'm not really going to be using her to calm mind 
Um, obviously having a, a, a move stat, a, 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 a boosted stat move that increases speed, like, uh, for example, Quiver Dance or Dragon Dance, those are very good. Um, but Calm Mind's alright, probably not gonna use it at all, probably just gonna use her as just some, uh, not a sweeper, but a Pokemon that can take hits, but mainly it's gonna one-shot everything. Also gave her the Barbiri Berry, um, so, only thing that's super effective against her is Poison, Steel, and another type that I don't quite remember. Um, he's like Dark Ghost or something, I don't know. Um, but yeah, she doesn't have that many weaknesses. Um, for like Poison, obvi uh, for Poison, um, usually Pokemon might use like Venom Shock or like Sludge Bomb. Another special attack. But when it comes to Steel, Steel is ma majorly physical moves, like Iron Tail, Iron Head. Uh, I'm not really expecting Flash Cannons, but yeah, I just... I just have it there, so again, I just want her to be able to take hits, um, but dish out lots of damage. Lucario, um, is my weaker Pokemon. I'll go Hydragon. First of all, Hydragon is my strongest, in my opinion, my strongest Pokemon here. Um, uh, Darkened Dragon, uh, again, just different typings from Gondor here. Um, and I also have Lucario with just steel and fighting. So, basically, the, the theory behind this is that, um, the Pokemon's, their weaknesses are covered by the other two. So, of course, Gondor's weakness is Steel and um, Poison. And guess what? Steel and Poison, Lucario resists Steel a lot and also is resistant to Poison, which is fantastic, right? And Lucario, what, what is Lucario's weakness? Fire, ground. Um, and Fire, you know, I can switch out to Gondor and she's going to be resistant because she's Fairy. And Hydragon is going to be resistant because it's Dragon. Um, and then uh, Ground, uh, Hydragon levitates. So, it, it, um, so it doesn't, it's not affected by ground moves. That's again a theory. I'll be able to switch out if I have a bad matchup. Um, I think Lucario is also uh, weak against fighting. Same with Hydragon. Hydragon and Lucario are both weak against fighting, and so I can switch into Gondor, which has like quad resistant to fighting. Um, even go Hydragon. Hydragon's weakness against fighting. Dragon is also a weakness that Hydragon has. Um, Dragon, I can switch into Gondor resistant. Um, Hydragon's also weak to ice, and um, Ice and like I think bug, um, so again ice and bug are gonna be resistant by Lucario. So yeah, basically I just I have pretty good switching options for anything super effective. But anyway, with Hydragon Life Orb, and I gave it a timid nature. So as you can see, the blue is the EVs. Yeah. So yeah, I completely maxed out Hydragon. Um, two fifty two a special attack, two fifty two in speed and six in HP. Um, so yeah, this dude is super fast. Um, obviously, like, these stats are kind of, um, like, these stats that Lucario and Gondor have are pretty close to their actual stats when I'm going to use them. But Hydragon, since it evolves at level 64, I have to, uh, boost it more. So these stats are a bit, a bit inflated. But yeah, it's going to be fast. Hydragon is going to be my fast sweeper here. Um, I gave it timid nature so it moves fast. Uh, but also, Hydragon just has base high special attack. So I'm in Levitate with the nature. I had Trace as like gone with nature but that's not really that good um and yeah move set for hydragon again full-on attacker i don't have dragon dance because it's not a physical attacker all these are special attacker by the way which is probably a bad idea the car is supposed to be mixed but yeah um they, they are all um these are all special attackers so if i had to go up against a special tank i'm pretty much dead but hydragon has surf flamethrower dark post and dragon post all just very strong special moves, 100% accuracy. All these moves I have are 100% accuracy here. Um, Dark Pulse and Dragon Pulse, just a good stab. And Flamethrower and Surf, again, just to round out the team. Um, and yeah, Timid Nature, again, I want to max out uh, High Dragon Speed. Um, by the by, none of these are EV, IV trained. Um, I'm going to one day train them up to 100, level 100, and hyper train them. And especially Speed IVs for all three of them. Speed IVs and um like special attack IVs, defense IVs also really nice. Um, but that's for another day. For now, I just have decent. They're decent, but they're not perfect. They're far from perfect, and they're just my own Pokemon. So obviously, just probably optimal status. But Lucario is the final one again. She is going to be timid nature. So again, I want her to be fast. Um, the thing about Lucario compared to the others is that I feel like Lucario is the most weak out of all of them, and so I gave her a Focus Sash. So if she takes a hit that will kill her in one hit, um, she will survive. We hang on with one HP. So if you take like a fire move or some type of, like something like that, you're not going to die in one hit. 
Um, and as such, I, I gave her some buff moves. So Nasty Pun Agility. Nasty Pun is going to um, sharply raise special attack. And Agility is going to sharply raise speed. So what you do is you just Nasty Plot. Um, there's no way you're going to die in one hit. Um, because one, you have to focus Sash. And two, you know, the hit might not just might not even kill the Lucario. And so I just have these to buff. And then I go in with the Flash Cannon and Aura Spear. Um, Lucario is my weakest link here, I feel, because... Um, you know, less move coverage. Um, but this Pokemon will always be able to take at least two hits. Gondor and Hydragon might not be able to take two hits, but the Lucario will for sure take two hits. Um, so yeah, that's basically my team. Um, I'm gonna be playing. I'm gonna be playing the Battle Tower. It's probably gonna be fast forwarded by a lot because I want to discuss some things while I play. But I'm just gonna have all the um. I'm gonna have all the battles recorded. So yeah. I'll also explain the format of this too, because I searched online the format of this. Um, and I'm definitely going to explain that too. But yeah. Let's just get going and maybe a montage? No, not a montage, but like fast forward. And of course, if there's anything interesting, I'll bring it up. But I don't think there's going to be anything interesting. Or when things get interesting, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it. I mean, maybe we can give one battle here. First of all, I need to bring up that volume. Yeah, we have a little bit different volume. Uh, I'll bring up the volume here. We do like a battle. But yeah, it seems like this, uh, my first battle here, yeah, she has, she also has a Gone War, um, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, the thing about this is that my opponents don't really Dynamax, and I get the Dynamax. Or oh, I guess I'll discuss that in the thing. But yeah, um, it's really beneficial for me in this, uh, oh my gosh, Light Stream is going to destroy my team because everything is special attacked. Um, but yeah, anyways, what I was discussing is that, uh, you know, I'll discuss a few things in the fast forward, but here, I'll just battle here. That's just my theory. As you saw, um, Lucario was able to buff, um, special attack. I might even use another nasty plot here because... I feel that I can buff a lot of special attack here because this Gondor is a setup Pokemon, not really attacking me or anything. I mean, Gondor isn't really known to have ground moves and fire moves, so I'm just gonna fully max out my uh, my special attack and wait out this light screen, I guess. But yeah, these battles, I feel like I'm gonna be able to steamroll them. If things get dicey, I have Dynamax that I can use to um, that I can use to steamroll my opponents. But yeah, it looks like this person just fully healed. I guess now would also be a good time to uh, show my um my Hydragon stats. Because I like showing the level 50 stats. Um, as you see here, yeah, uh, not as high of speed and special attack as we saw when we were in the Pokemon Center. Or in the in the, the lobby. But yeah, as you see, Lucario and Hydragon both have the same speed, which is kind of funny. Um, but the High Dragon has higher special attack and it has the Life Orb, so. So now I guess we're gonna just go with the Flash Cannon now that my, uh, my special attack is buffed all the way. And I still have the, uh, Focus Sash on my Lucario. So it's still gonna be, able, she's still gonna be able to take a hit after this. Looks like this lady has all fairies. Um, I did say that the Pokemon Tower, a Battle Tower is usually rigged. I'm actually not sure in this case. I'm pretty sure it's still rigged, but, uh, you know, that's fine. Anyways, this El Creamy has very high special uh, defense. Same thing with the Gonover. The uh, Gonover also has very high special defense. And of course, with the light screen, um, even with my special attack fully maxed out, I'm still not able to defeat you from one hit. So yeah, it's pretty serious. But obviously, El Creamy and um, Gonover, or El Creamy doesn't have high attack. And then we have Swift Tree. So yeah, in this battle, my Lucario was able to have all super effective hits, which is very nice. Very nice. Um, but yeah, that's basically how the battles are going to go. I'm just going to steamroll through the uh, battle tower now. Music is also pretty cool, so I'm down. I'm down with the music. So unlike the normal battle towers, which is a 20 win plus a boss and 50 wins plus a boss, um, the battle tower in this game is kind of a joke and is a lot different. Um, so basically, instead of like the the wins, the, you need a chain of wins to um, win, I guess. Uh, there are 10 ranks, and you start at rank 1, which is the beginner tier. Also rank 1 is the beginner tier. And the tier tells you how many battles you're going to win in order to advance to the next rank. Um, 
So in the beginner tier, you only need two wins to advance to the next rank. So after two wins, you go to rank two. And after two more wins, you go to rank three. Two more wins, rank four. In which now you're in the Pokeball tier. Now that you're in the Pokeball tier, uh, you need three wins to rank up. So three more wins, rank five. Three more wins, rank six. Three more wins, rank seven. Then you advance to the Great Ball tier. Then you need four more wins. Uh, you need uh, four wins to go to rank eight. Then you need four more wins to rank nine. On rank nine, you're in Ultra Ball tier. Five more wins, you're in Master Ball tier, and which is also the tenth rank and the last rank. Um, also, if you lose a battle, you minus a win. So if you're at two wins and you lose, you go back to one win. And you need a you know how many ever wins you need to go to the next rank. There you go. Also, you can't drop a tier, but you can drop a rank. Okay, I almost lost this battle because I'm freaking trash. <laughs> okay, so a few things um, that I forgot to do actually. I forgot to max out my Pokemon's uh, Dynamax level. I guess I moved up to rank 3. Um, that was convenient, I was gonna exit it out anyways. Um, but it looks like, yeah, so... So we saw that there were Dynamax levels. Um, so where is it? Yeah, so you can increase our Pokemon's Dynamax level. We saw that like toward the beginning of the game. And I didn't really know exactly what that meant. But here we have Dynamax candy. So we can give like max them on all of our uh, Pokemon that we're going to be using here. And as you see, we checked our summaries. And the uh, Dynamax level is max. So what this basically means is when they Dynamax, they get full or they get um. A 200 increase in uh, HP. So let's say their HP was 100, now their HP is 200. And then, yeah, that's basically what it means. So I just max out the I just max out the, the levels. Um, and of course, I still have a lot to learn about when it comes to uh, when it comes to the Battle Tower. But if everyone's gonna be using light light screen, then I have to pack in like a brick brick on my Lucario or something. I don't know. Um, extra things to mention, so uh, everything I mentioned before applies for both double and singles. Um, if you're perfect, you can complete all of it in only 28 battles so you don't lose. Um, you can also uh, Dino Max your Pokemon. Um, and uh, one thing to mention is before you tear up, sort of battle before you tear up, um, you battle Leon. So it, you tear up four times, so that's a, a total of four Leon battles per single and double. Um, and you always have a Gigantamax Charizard. And so, yeah, if you are able to tech in a Charizard killer, um, the boss, Leon, is really easy. Clizzard, I've been waiting for you. Always knew you'd be able to win your way here. Now, how about you take on Challenger Leon with everything that you've got? Um, unfortunately, hopefully, um, this goes well. So yes, Leon, I probably already mentioned this, but you can battle Leon here. And he starts off with Mr. Rhyme. His team is going to be random, but for the most part, it, it comprises of Pokemon that he, um, it should comprise of Pokemon that he, uh, he has on his, like, champion team. But it looks like Leon's going to waste his time using, uh, using Fake out here, which is going to raise, give me a speed boost, which is very nice. Now I'm going to try to attempt a nasty plot. Hopefully this Mr. Ron will knock me on one hit. Um, but a speed buff and a, uh, a two um, special attack buff should be really strong here. Um, as long as he doesn't like sweep me with something. But Flash Cannon should take care of Mr. Mr. Ryan here. Um, I think he always has a Charizard that uh, G-maxes, the Gigantamaxes. So we're going to be saving our... Uh, we're gonna be saving our Gigantamax for a Hydragon on Gonovore here. Uh, but unfortunately, his Charizard, we're just gonna have to sack a move here. Um, yeah, I guess I probably should have used Flash Cannon because Flash Cannon would have maybe lowered special defense, but yeah, that's fine. I'm probably going to send out. Um, I could send out Hydragon and use Surf or Gonovore and use Thunderbolt. But I feel like the Gonovore using Thunderbolt here is probably better. Um, we'll see. It's okay damage, right? 
No, I actually want to see if I can outspeed the, uh, I want to see if I can outspeed the Charizard, so I might use Hydragon and use Surf. Um, because if I outspeed it and I kill the Charizard on one hit, that's super good. Um, because I don't want my Garnivore getting hit. I also don't believe the Charizard has any super effective moves against the Hydragon. Um, because I know he has a rock move, I know he has, um, a, a grass move and a fire move, right? So it's all the GMAC of those, but I don't know if he has another final move here. Um, but yeah, it's good to see if my Hydragon is going to be able to outspeed the uh, Charizard. I didn't max him out in um, speed EVs and has a timid nature, so it should be faster than Charizard. Um, it wasn't. A oh my god, the Charizard has a Dragon move? Okay, Hydragon, you're- Oh, oh Hydragon didn't die? It might be because of the G-Max. The G-Max uh, was prevented the Hydragon from dying there. Unfortunately, yeah, I guess uh, the Charizard has a Dragon move, huh? Unfortunately, or I mean fortunately, I was able to destroy the Charizard on one hit. But that's something to keep in mind. Maybe I should have a... Uh... Yeah, Charizard, I guess Charizard does have a Dragon move. Uh, I should switch to Gondor next time. Because again, like I said, I don't think the Charizard should have anything for the Gondor. It looks like his last one is going to be Inteleon, so my, uh, my Gondor has a good matchup, I believe. Um, we're just going to use... I don't know which one's stronger. Lower special defense, so probably the, the, the dark move. Oh, it looks like my Hydragon avoided the blizzard. Interesting. Pretty lucky battle, if I have to say. I can't believe the Inteleon and Charizard both outsped my uh, Hydragon. So what's the point of giving it the timid nature if it's just going to get outsped? I would have spread. Uh, unfortunate, but um, battling against champion like you, it really is my, it really is the best. And since you managed to defeat me, I'll be moving up the ranks. I'll move you. I'll be moving up the ranks here at the battle tower, or you'll be moving up the ranks. Um, and we get to have his rare lead card. So yeah, I don't know. I probably could have optimized that battle a little bit better. Um, unfortunately, I didn't. I mean, he missed his Inteleon. Um, obviously, it. You know the Adamant Mint, which is a very good mint. Um, and I choose background music that I like to listen to at the battle tower. So yeah, uh, keep that in mind next time instead of. G maxing my Hydragon against Leon, because I I'm gonna battle Leon again. I should um G Max my Gone War. Leon's dream, even when he was still a champ even when he was still a champion, was to make Glorian trainers the strongest trainers in the world. In order to fulfill the dream, he has rebuilt Rose Tower into the Battle Tower, a facility dedicated to Pokemon battles. People say that he seems even more lively now than he was as champion. Leon has also commented that other reasons he likes the tower so much is because it's impossible to get lost inside. Leon's biggest problem now is apparently coming up with a new structure catchphrase to, to replace Let's Have a Champion Time. There we go, Leon's lead card. Oh, and I guess I remade my lead card too. I had the Rotom background. And I also have a, a Starfoil. Yep. So now I have all this time uh, to, I guess, you know, talk about stuff that I want to talk about now that I've basically completed the game. Um, so I want to give my, I mean, I already gave my opinions on like the main story of the game, but I kind of want to give my overall opinions of uh, the Pokemon Sword and I guess Pokemon Shield. Um, so yeah, I want to give my whole opinion, but first I'll let me set the stage, okay? So, so setting the stage. Pokemon Sword and Shield, or at least a Gen 8 game, were going to be the first Pokemon games on like a decently powerful console. Um, so not like a handheld console, but like on a on a tabletop on, on a console, you know, on, on a console that you put on the TV. And uh, for me, it was real, it was hype. Okay, I've played many Pokemon games, so I know how massive um, they could be. Um, loaded with content and cool features, um, some of which I never even touch. Um, and you know, there's still a lot of Pokemon content there out there for me. Um, and a lot of it I have I've delved very deep into. 
Um, you know, Pokemon to me, a large part of my life, <laughs> to be honest. I've sunk well over like a few thousand hours to Pokemon, whether it be like the main story games. Um, starting for me, it started with Pokemon Sapphire. Um, you know, uh, the Mystery Dungeon games or like the card game even. Uh, the game is going to be huge, right? I felt like this game was going to be huge. The Gen 8 games. Uh, but like, to be honest, recently I've been lacking the job to play Pokemon. Uh, I mentioned this many times, but I never finished Moon and I didn't get Ultra Moon. Um, or like the Let's Go games because I, I guess I just didn't want to buy them. I also had other things going on. Um, but since the Gen 8 Pokemon games were kind of like the first of their kind. Again, like I said, main story console games. I was looking forward to them. Uh, I was the main feature I was looking forward to um, was Battle Frontier, um, which is what they had in Emerald and Soul Silver. Um, since like the newer games, like I always looked at what was going to be released in the new games and I found out like X and Y wasn't going to have it um, Sun and Moon wasn't going to have it and it made me really sad so I really wanted Battle Frontier but honestly any cool innovative feature would have been nice um, I was really incentivized to play I, I mean I wasn't incentivized to play the newer games because they didn't have Battle Tower so the first news of like the new Cold War games started to come out um, in these Pokemon games uh, you know, they looked they look like a Pokemon game on the console, you know, I, I, I usually keep very spoiler free when it comes to um, Especially when it comes to these newer Pokemon games. Like, I think for X and Y, I, I like to spoil a lot of things for me um, But or like black and white I spoil a lot of things for me, but then when it came to like X and Y and Sun and uh, no, like Omega we have Sapphire, Sun and Moon are very spoiler free, so I didn't even know like most of the new Pokemon if any um, and like playing it like that so that I get like the full Pokemon experience um, And so yeah, when it came to Pokemon Sword and Shield, of course at this point I knew that it was a gen 8 game It was Sword and Shield, right? Um, very spoiler free. I didn't want to know anything about them. Just the release date November of 2019 heck yes um, And like I the only Pokemon like I said, I didn't know anything no new Pokemon um so I didn't really know much about the game. I only know like, the starters and the boss legendaries. Uh, but the biggest thing I heard about this game, that I kept hearing around, um, is that the Pokemon decks was going to be cut. So they weren't going to put all the Pokemon in it. Um, at first I was like, whoa, this is that's very strange for a Pokemon game. Um, but then for me personally, I didn't really care about it. Um, I mean, my my favorite like five Pokemon's, pro none of them are <laughs> my favorite like five Pokemon. None of them are in. Sword and Shield, um, but I mean, to me, it doesn't really matter. I mean, you can use other Pokemon's, um, and I, I always try, tend to use the same Pokemon, so you know, it's, it's fine that they weren't in the game. Um, but that kind of like telegraphs, like if they're not gonna put all these Pokemon in the game, you know, that kind of, you know, that's a kind of a sign, sign of how the direction the game was turning towards. Um, there weren't all the Pokemon in the game. What else might they cut? Um, and they said the reason why, like, um, you know, because they want to make the Pokemon more balanced and they had to do animations for all the Pokemon and stuff. Um, and I'm, and like, that's really a bad excuse in my opinion, because if you really wanted to put, like, more animation stuff, just extend the date of the game's release. Like, you don't need it. The Pokemon does a really good job of releasing a game every year in, like, November. Um, like before like the Christmas holiday season which you know good, good business move um, but they don't really do that they can like push the game forward and make sure that the game comes out very nice um, looking at Animal Crossing um, so like if they needed more time to put in Pokemon if the reason was to like they couldn't put Pokemon in because of time they couldn't just extend it the time um, that would have made more people happy or had like not better sales per se, but more happier sales. But anyways, yeah, I mean, not having all the Pokemon in the game, you know, was already assigned to me. Again, not Pokemon, not all the Pokemon in the game itself is not bad, um, but it kind of shows like they're not gonna, they're not putting all the Pokemon in the game. That's gonna be a little bit lackluster. What else are they be cutting? Uh, I've already heard from like Let's Go Eevee, Let's Go Pikachu that those games weren't good. I don't know why they weren't good. Um, but hopefully, you know, Sword and Shield were gonna be good. Yeah, uh, you know, at least better than, you know, at least worth $60 because we're, we're gonna up the price to $20 or it will be $60, right? So at least have them be good in that sense.
Well done, because it just as I knew you do, I never expect the Pokeball to would hold you so long. Now it's time for you and I. Now it's time you and I have some fun. All right, it looks like we are battling Leon once again. This time he has a Seismitoad. Um, this isn't good at all because if the Seismitoad has like an Ice move or a Fairy move, I'm dead. But I'm assuming. The Seismitoad is going to use Earthquake on my Lucario, so I'm going to switch out to Hydragon um, to evade the uh, Earth move. And obviously, I don't have a good matchup against the Seismitoad. But it looks like he just protected, so hopefully, like I said, he doesn't have a. Um, hopefully, he doesn't use some sort of uh, Ice Beam Blizzard move. But this Dragon Ball should do at least half health. Yeah, at least half health, so I should kill the for another hit. Drain Punch, of course they would have a fighting move. Um, I do believe that that's not going to heal enough. Yeah, that shouldn't be enough. Okay, so my High Dragon actually is not going to survive for much longer. <coughs> Since, um, obviously Leon might just outspeed the him. But also the Life Orb is taking away as health here. So yeah, um, but we expect a Charizard. Uh, last time, uh... We we found out that the Charizard outspeeds the High Dragon, unfortunately, and so I'm just gonna switch into the um. I'm gonna switch into the uh. Or I'm just gonna use Surf just to sack him. Um, luckily the Leon shouldn't be using the G Max Fire move because if he used the G Max Fire move, that's going to cast a Sunny Day, which isn't good. So yeah, he's gonna use the G Max Dragon move here. Um, unfortunate Hydragon is not going to outspeed the Charizard, even though I trained, I put everything into speed. Um, but we have Gonover now. Um, Gonover obviously is going to a, uh, Dynamax here. And I'm also going to, um, Thunder. So Max Lightning here. Hopefully this should do some good damage. Ideally, one-shot the Charizard. I do not think the Charizard is going to one-shot my Gonover. Gonover has way too much HP for that. And also, um, the Charizard has a uh, special attacks. I think all Charizard moves are special attacks, so it shouldn't do that much damage on Gone War. Um, as well as Charizard shouldn't have a super effective hit. I don't think like there's no Ghost moves, no Iron, um, no Steel. I mean, no Steel and Poison moves. So yeah, Max Airstream is not gonna do that much damage. It's gonna lower my speed, I believe. No, it raises Charizard's speed, which doesn't matter because Charizard is already gonna be faster than Gone War. So got the G Max Lightning, good damage. Doesn't quite knock out the Charizard here. Um, so we will be able to uh, use another move here to change the terrain to our liking. Probably going to use the um, probably going to use Max Starfall here because I feel like Misty Train is good. Um, looks like Charizard is going to use Max Guard, which is going to waste my turn and his turn. So yeah, now he doesn't have a Dynamax Charizard no more. Uh, my Gondor is on its uh, her last move. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's not very effective. I forgot the uh, the Starfall is not very effective, but it still still should um um knock out the Charizard since I'm G Maxing. Gondor has very high special attack. But yeah, we got our Mystic Train here. We still have a Lucario in stock because we uh, predicted the Seismitoad. So um, I also think that this this track, this music. Oh, he has a Haxorus. He's done for. Also, I think this music is a bit different from what we've heard before, so that's nice. But yeah, unless this Haxorus has like Iron Head and it runs faster than my Gondor well, Rock Slide, hopefully I don't get flinched here because, um, oh that did a lot of damage actually. Okay, not flinched, that's good. Should knock out the Haxorus here, and if not, my Lucario is going to be able to tank in one hit. So I should be able to get at least one more hit in my Lucario. And there we go. They're not expecting to have a Haxorus. Alright, so that's the second Leon battle here. So we're gonna rank up again. We always battle him before we rank up, so we're gonna get Great Ball rank, I think it was, after Pokeball. Yeah, a uh, Great Ball tier, I should say. Modest Min is actually super nice again. Modest, Adamant, Mint, those were like the two best Mints. Um, so yeah, there we go, nice. Um, so of course, the game came out, and I didn't pick it right away, um, I was in school, 
and so I the game came out I think November or something right mid November and then I was able to pick it up um, like the end of the year so like end of December and I that was when I could play it and you know again of course I played the whole thing I recorded it and um, I mean you know in general uh, before like of course before they played it, I heard like a lot of people like um, they said it was an okay game they said like even though like um, you know, there's a lot of, you know, the, 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 the Pokemon Dex cut was a bad thing. Um, you know, people seem to have enjoyed it. And so, of course, I played the game, um, trying to keep my expectations as low as possible. Um, and, of course, I didn't know anything about the game. So, like, I didn't know if there was going to be, there, there may have been a Battle Frontier. I didn't hear anything about a Battle Frontier. But I don't know what the offer game, I don't know what the after game had to offer. I didn't know what the main game had to offer. So yeah, I mean, I just played it, and you know, for the most part, after like discovering everything the game had to ha had in store, I was pretty disappointed. <laughs> um, so like the main thing in this game is like the wild area, and um, and like battle tower. I mean, after you beat the game, the only thing that gets unlocked uh, is like stronger Pokemon and battle tower. And in this video, have you seen? Battle Tower is not really that hard, um, and from my early explanation, it's really easy. So, yeah, and then the wild area, um, the thing that sucks about this game is that the wild area, um, and like not even the wild area, but multiplayer in general, I think, is very confusing. Like, I'm gonna mention this uh, later, but like, it was very confusing for me um, I couldn't find any Dynamax, like I couldn't do any Dynamax with anybody else. It seems like you have to have friends or like other people playing the game, um, which is like super unswitch like Usually Switch is like you can bring a friend over and play like Mario Kart or Mario Party or something like that. Um, but when it comes to this game, it's like your friend needs a Switch and it needs a copy of this game if you want to do anything. So yeah, I end up not doing any, not a single multiplayer feature. Um, and also, you need to pay money. I think that's the first time, of course, because the Switch is on is a console, it's not handheld. Um, you're charging for multiplayer. Um, I do have the multiplayer thing because um, it acts it like charged twenty dollars from like it renewed my subscription from last year. I that I wanted to unsubscribe from, so I just waited twenty dollars for that basically. Um, and so yeah, you have to pay to do Wi-Fi features too, which is super lame. And like I don't understand the Wi-Fi features at all. Like the Wi-Com, I don't understand. So I. Have, it's, it's really bad but what I really wanted to do was like focus on other games so like what did other games have that this game didn't have so again like the first time I'm not gonna talk about um, red and blue and um, the, the first few games uh, silver and gold because I never played those games but when you come when we talk about Ruby and Sapphire um, those games had interesting stories, you know, two games felt super different, the three games, include Emerald, felt super different, all super different stories, right? Um, and then, like, something like getting surfed in this game was super lame, but getting surfed in that game, you basically like, unlock half of the game just by getting surfed, you can do so much. Um, and then, of course, there's Poke Contest, along with Poke Blocks, and then, like, Berry Farming was even fun for me. Secret Base is a whole thing. And on Emerald is a Battle Frontier, and like that's like a super fun, huge end game. Okay, then we move on to Fire Red, Leaf Green. Of course, you got the, the Seven Islands, um, the Trainer Tower. You know, just a, a, a bigger end game. Um, and then Diamond and Pearl again. You have contests, puffins with that. You have the Underground area, which again you can spend so much time doing because there's like there's like tiers and things that you can unlock. And even the after game, there's like this whole island. That includes like a bunch of uh, new legendaries and people, right? Heart goes so sober. Um, there's like a Poke Walker. You can play Pokemon without playing Pokemon. Oh, I love the Poke Walker. Whole nother region, okay? Poke Athlon. Whole thing about that. That's that's a whole game of itself, right? And with Platinum included with Platinum, um, uh, Heart goes so sober and Platinum uh, again had Battle Frontier, and for me that constituted like. That was a huge part of my childhood. Just that battle friendship from that game. And then we go to white, black, um, black two and white two. Again, very cool game. Very different from like other games. Whole, a bunch of new Pokemon. You had areas like Black Saint and White Force. Again, making the game two games very different. Um, and then those Dream World stuff, Battle Subway, World Tournament, and even like um, 
Koki Star Studios or something. Again, all that stuff I dabbled in a little bit, but I could have played way more when it comes to that. X and Y, Omega Ruby, and Alpha Sapphire. Again, introduction. These were the first time I played multiplayer because the multiplayer was so easy to understand on a 3DS. You just flip through the switch, and the system was so like easy. I did competitive battles. Um, I did like a lot of stuff, trading, and it was just really fun. Like those games, like the multiplayer was fantastic because it was so easy to understand. Again, Battle Mason, Lucas Challenges, Delta Episode from those games. Um, it created a nice after game. Again, not as good as the last ones, but like the Delta Episode Lucas Challenge is very really nice. I mean, at least it was like a, a thought-provoking after game that I enjoyed. Um, and again, like everything that I've listed, these games that I've listed have so many other features that I haven't even mentioned. Um, when it comes to Sun and Moon, Let's Go games and like the Ultra Sun and Moon, I um, didn't really play those in complete though, so I can't have like an opinion on those games in terms of like, um, you know, how, how good those games were. Um, or like, but I'm sure like, I spent 50, over 50 hours, which is basically the same amount of time I've spent on Pokemon Sword thus far. I spent 50 hours in Moon, and I still haven't finished like the Ultra Beast thing, like I'm still like, I'm sure Annabelle is just sitting there like what the heck is he doing not capturing all the ultra beat but like i'm still haven't finished that game and like i haven't played any of the app i haven't finished it right i haven't captured my nebby and and i've already spent over 50 hours in it um so like just all of that there's so many features from the other games and again like i said those other games 35 dollars the game boy games and 40 dollars for the ds games um and yeah a lot of content a lot of fun you turn to pokemon sword what is there there's not, there's not that stuff. There's not all that stuff. I hear a lot of people complaining, right? Um, and of course, like, the complaints are like the game is a straight line, and um, you know the the story was kind of thrown at you. Um, to comment on the story, I could be critical about it. I am very critical about the story, but like, I don't really remember the story from the other Pokemon games. Like, if you ask me what happens uh, X and Y, I don't remember. Um, and the whole thing with N and like Team Plasma. Eh? No, no. <laughs> I don't really remember, but like, you know, it would still have been nice for the, the story not to be so, it's just thrown at you. Um, and the gym challenge was super confusing for me, like, I didn't like the gym challenge. Like, they, like I had to say that they tried to do something with the gym and try to not make it like seem random, but I like the idea of the Pokemon League, to be honest, I don't know. I like having a champion and stuff like that, like a real champion. Um, and yeah, I don't know, I felt like this game, oops, I felt like this game just is like, no replayability, it's kind of boring too, like, you know, there's not a lot of trainers to battle, there's not a lot of areas, so sure for no, like, a super big caves, no dive areas, no features in the wild area, like mud and puddle, like, like, you know, just, the t small stuff, like, there's a lot of stuff missing, I don't know, there's a lot I can say, but I don't want to make this clip too long, so yeah. Um, overall, what I'm trying to say is that, I felt like this game was very incomplete, very obviously incomplete, and I just wish there was, there was more to do. The Battle Tower is the place to go if you want to see how strong out trainers dedicate to growing stronger lives and do battle. Look as though your own strength is about um, as amazing as other Quizzard. But I won't just take your word for it. Leon, once again, this time he's gonna have Rillaboom instead of, um, I don't know, <laughs> instead of Inteleon, which he normally has, because I chose him. Ooh, Grassy Search, that's interesting. Um, but yeah, we'll see if, um, let's see if we can get some stuff going here. Uh, I'm gonna nasty plot because I wanna get rid of this Rillaboom. Uh, I don't know if my Lucario outspeeds Charizard. I don't even think he has a move that's effective against Charizard. High horsepower? Uh oh, that's gonna, yeah, that's gonna do a lot of damage. I didn't, I didn't even realize that Real Boom has high horsepower. Oh, and Life Orb too, it looks like. Unfortunately, if Leon sends out his Charizard against my uh, Lucario, the Charizard's not going, or the, the, <laughs> the, um, the Lucario's not gonna live. Um, but Gone of War should be able to take care of uh, Gone of War should be able to take care of Charizard, which is good. 
Um, since I did not use agility, wait, what? He's using Haxorus next? That's good, okay. Um, although Haxorus wouldn't really be much of a problem with my Gondor, but anyways, Haxorus is going to be faster than my Lucario, unfortunately. Um, I was going to eat away at my Lucario here. I'm going to send out Gondor. Maybe I should have sent out, um, Actually, this is probably a bad idea. I probably should have sent out um, Hydragon to uh, to deal with the Haxorus and then leave um, then leave Gondor uh, 40N for Leon's Charizard because um, uh, the Haxorus is going to outspeed my Gondor and thus do damage to her. Hopefully not like Iron Tail or something dumb like that. Um, but my, my Gondor should survive. Two hits. I mean, the one Haxorus hit. Attract? What the heck is that garbage? Interesting. Well, I don't. I don't think that uh, Leon's Haxorus would use attract, and I was immobilized by love. It waste my, which waste my Dynamax time. And of course, he's going to have the poison jab. Cause why wouldn't he? Um. Oh my God! Immobilized by love again. The guy's turn is gonna uh, heal me here. But I might be dead because his Charizard outspeeds my um his Charizard outspeeds my uh, Haxorus or my Hydragon, and my Gondor is not going to take another hit. So I think I lost. <laughs> wow, I actually lost against Leon. Man, this is my last battle, and I was going to upgrade to the uh, the next um the next tier, but it looks like I kind of got screwed over with the uh, the attract. Um, and yeah, I, I probably should have used Hydragon instead of the, uh, the Garnivore. That was my mistake. Um, and yeah, I, I can't outspeed the Charizard. Even though I fully maxed out my EVs and speed nature on Hydragon, I can't outspeed the Charizard. Oh my gosh, unfortunate. Wow. I'm actually surprised I lost this, but yeah, I guess I have to restart. Um, I don't know how much I restart after a loss. I think I have to... Cause I think this has been, I don't know how many, uh, exactly, like, consecutive wins I've had. Um, like, I don't know really how it works, this new battle tower system. Oh wow, got unlucky, there you go. There you go. My first loss in the battle tower against Leon. Just because he's able to outspeed my Hydragon that he didn't EV train properly, apparently. Um, I mean, Surf probably wouldn't even kill the charge on a one hit anyways. Because, um, Dynamax has such high HP. So I guess, guess, guess I gotta restart. I don't know how much I'm gonna restart, though, so that's my question. Um, I don't know, was there anything I could have changed differently? I'm trying to think of what I could have changed differently. I mean, obviously, the play where, um, I used Garnivore instead of Hydragon was definitely the wrong, the wrong send out. Um, it looks like. I don't know exactly how much I have to win to get back to Leon. I really don't know how much I need to win. Well, I guess we'll we'll count out the battles. Uh, after this, this thing, this game a lot. I think that um, you know, I do have a little bit of a good thing to say, um, and that is like if if you if you want to do competitive battling, this is the time to do it. Because again, there's not that many Pokemon that you can do competitive battling with. Um, but also, just the game is just super convenient when it comes to like EV training, IV training, like even nature and breeding. It has never been as easy as this game. Um, and just like the convenience, there's a lot of things convenient about the game, like XP, like super easy to get. Um, and like the move, like the leader and relearner, it's like literally in every gym. And so like, there's a lot of things in this game that's like super convenient. But then like, when you talk about convenience, like, yeah, you can make things convenient, but should that... Should you have to sacrifice uh, difficulty? Um, I don't think so. Like I think they may maybe a little bit too much convenience and in turn made the game a little bit easier than it should have been. It looks like only one. Trainer, I had to battle, which I struggle against because I'm dumb. 
until I get Leon again. So it only sent me back with like literally one battle. Um, and it looks like he still has his Rillaboom. Um, this time... Well, uh... I think I'm just going to... Yeah, I'm going to Nasty Plot again. Was I able to one... Okay, it, it doesn't matter. I, was I able to one-shot the Rillaboom last time? I don't even remember. I definitely want to Nasty Plot here. I probably... Don't remember if I one shot it, which I, I probably should have. So I'm just gonna flash cannon. I'm not gonna buff again. Even though I can tank another hit, I'm not gonna buff again. I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, okay. So it looks like I'm able to, uh, able to dispatch with the real boom here. Um, yeah, the healing doesn't really matter. This time, no graphic terrain. So I guess, yeah, all, all of their Pokemons, even if they're the same, like, Pokemon. Like the, the the kit's different, so probably uh, move sets different, EV train differently, different nature, different uh, item. Um, but it looks like they're sending a Charizard this time. Um, it doesn't really matter. Charizard's gonna outspeed me, so I guess Flash Cannon. I don't, I don't know. Um, yeah, I guess. Oh. <laughs> Next time I train some Pokemon, I definitely want a Pokemon that literally outspeeds everything. Because I hate having um, I hate having my Pokemon's fully trained in speed still get outsped. I mean, granted, Lucario and Hydreigon they don't have they don't have the greatest of uh, speeds. Um, I think Lucario's like like base is like 80 or something, and Hydreigon's like 90, which is really low, really to be fair. Um, you really want something like 100 or something. Um, but, you know, that's just how it is. Um, I don't know, is it sunny day? Or is it normal? don't exactly know, because if it's sunny day, his max wildfire might actually do a lot of damage on my Gondor. But, uh, Gondor should be able to <clears throat> take off this Charizard. And then we'll see what their third, what his third Pokemon will be after this Charizard. But yeah, unfortunately, this Charizard... My my Hydragon and my Lucario can't touch the Charizard, unless um, unless of course I use um, uh, I use Agility on my uh, I use Agility on my um, my Lucario, then I'm able to outspeed the the Charizard. Even even if I outspeed it though, I still have two moves that are not very effective. Um, so it's important for me to use um, Dawn over here to save Dawn over his Charizard. Um, so yeah, if, uh, I guess, like, the, the goal, or, like, uh, a really good piece of advice for this, um, for Battle Tower is to have a Pokemon that is really good at taking care of Charizard. Like, my Gondor is really good at taking care of Charizard, I think. So I'm not doing the best in this battle. I'm gonna use Max Mindstorm instead of the Electric Terrain move. <clears throat> oh my gosh, this kid's so annoying. I hate, I hate, um... <clears throat> By the way, G Max move go through um, protection, but I hate um, the one thing I hate about Bad Tower is like people who use like protect and like detect. It's so annoying because it like wastes my time. Um, obviously, if they have like um, if it's like a poison kit or like a burn kit, um, like in this case, Charizard obviously has a burn. But if it's like some sort of kit that does damage over time, then I understand like a Whirlpool, Fire Spin, something like that. But it, it, when they just protect for no reason, like a lot of times they do, it's so annoying. But it looks like actually I, I would speed to Mr. Ryan. So this uh this Moonblast is gonna do some decent damage. Icy Wind on oh my Gondor shouldn't kill her. Yeah, it shouldn't kill her. It will lower my speed, so this Mr. Ryan might outspeed me now. Looks like uh the Mr. Ryan does, but my high dragon should take care of this Mr. Ryan thing, because I have Dark Pulse. And if uh, my Garn were outsped the Mr. Ryan, then my High Dragon should. <laughs> it looks like another battle in the bag, right? Okay, it kills it, yeah, that's good. If not, Mr. Ryan probably would have used Ice Move to uh, destroy my High Dragon there, so. It's good that it did. Yeah, whatever. 
I don't know if he says the same thing every time. I just kind of skip the text. But I moved on to rank 10 in Ultra Ball tier now. I think Ultra Ball tier is the um, ability capsule switch uh, abilities. But I think Ultra Ball tier is the last tier. Um, now every round will be 5 battles. And um, every battle will be 5 battles. And uh, yeah. If I beat this, this is the last one. After this, it's the Master Ball. It's the Master Ball tier. And then that, after that, I think I should be done with battle tower at least um single battles so let's see if i can get it uh i guess my final thoughts then about the game or like what i want to see the direction going the game going in the future um so of course you know i can't talk about the future of pokemon without addressing the past and uh yeah in general i think the past is um you know it's it's unprecedented the uh, Game Freak never puts updates for Pokemon games, or at least like content updates. They might put bug fixes, they might do like events, but like no like actual content updates to the game. So like this is the first time we're getting like actual content um, for the game. Again, like who, why, why, why would anyone be mad about that? Um, of course it costs money, um, of course it's stuff that should have been in the game in the first place, and of course you know, you know how good is, how good is the stuff going to be? Um, of course, it, like I've heard, like, you know, of course, it, it costs thirty dollars, which is half of the game, and so of course they have a standard to like uphold, of course. But like, again, that stuff could have easily been in the game if they released it a year later, right? Uh, <laughs> you know. So honestly, like they them putting out a like an expansion pass, it's kind of not my favorite thing they could have done um, in terms of like the future because I honestly would not mind buying a, like a whole nother game like um like when you when we talk about like sequels like of course we had um or like remakes I guess well I don't really want to talk about remakes um but they could do like a <laughs> Diamond Pro remake but in terms of like sequels like I wouldn't have mind a sequel at all I think that um, you know, according to we're talking about sequels, we're talking about like Emerald, we're talking about Platinum, we're talking about, um, you know, Black and White 2, Ultra Sun and Moon, I can't really talk about Ultra Sun and Moon, but Black and White 2, like, I, like, yes, the story, like, there couldn't really be more done with the story, like, if you do it in the future, well, Rose is already in jail, so how can you do that, and if you do a prequel, then it doesn't really work, because you don't have that, like, Sonya arc trying to explain everything for you, um, and so like, yeah, like a, like a sequel or a prequel to the game wouldn't really make sense. But like they could have done something where like instead of Leon endorsing the main character, maybe you're endorsed by um, the chairman. And maybe like you're working alongside Beide or something stupid like that. I don't know, but they could have done, or like, you know, they could have done something to expand the story with Eternatus, like like they did with um, Garretian or Quasa, right? Um, and I would have loved to see a sequel that just adds more stuff to the game. Of course a sequel that adds more stuff to the game, there would have to be like a sequel, right? But, you know, them making a new game would, of course, if they make a, a new game in terms of like a sequel, they might, you know, they can add all the same stuff, but they add upon that stuff. And I think that would have been, in my opinion, I would have liked that better than um, what we got from the expansion pass, right? Um, right instead of like paying $30 for a pass I would have rather paid an extra $30 just to get a whole new game but if that whole new game includes you know like the Isle of what sword or shield and then like I don't know what the, the expansion pass I don't know what those called but like imagine if they just added a bunch of more stuff okay and then they added like you know more features to the game like a, a more in in-depth battle tower like they did with um, Platinum and Emerald, or like you know, just more content, like they did in Black, Black Two and and, and White Two, you know. Um, so I don't know. I, I really would like a sequel, um, but you know, just to talk about, you know, Pokemon. Honestly, like there's a reason why the game is so bad. 
you know, like I think the underlying reason of why the game is so bad, of why Pokemon Sword and Shield are really bad, at least upon release, I shouldn't, I shouldn't, I, sh I shouldn't talk about the expansion pass because that hasn't come out yet, so I can't give my opinion. But the thing about Pokemon is that they're so powerful um, that they can release anything and people will buy it. Like they can release a really crappy mainstream game on a Nintendo Switch that sells for $60 and people would buy it just because it's Pokemon. In fact, that's exactly I think what happened. Like I bought that game not because I thought the game would be good or bad, but because it's Pokemon. That's un the unfortunate truth about Pokemon is they're too powerful. So whatever they release, people are going to buy it no matter if the product is good or bad. If anything, I think the sales for Pokemon Sword and Shield are actually really high because of, uh, you know, what's going on around recently. A lot of people are staying home, sort of buying the game. Um, and of course, a lot of people are getting the Switch. And if Pokemon on the Switch, of course, people will get that. And it's like, that's the sad thing. It's like, you know, the game, whatever they make, even if it's hot doo doo, if it's a main story Pokemon game, I'm gonna buy it. Um, and that's unfortunate truth. They kind of have, they kind of have us tied. Um, and of course we, we demand people want a really good Pokemon game but that's not you know they don't have to deliver on that promise they don't have to make a good Pokemon game like they did with Hard Gold Soul Silver like they did with Black White Black White 2 X White 2 um, Black White 2 X and White 2 no uh, Black and White 2 um, like if you can like I've noticed that um, you know especially if you really pair an X and Y that you know this the feature this is really there's a lot of stuff that they could have built upon that game. Um, even Omega Ruby after Sapphire, like that definitely should have had a Battle Frontier. Um, again, I can't comment on Sun and Moon. I can't comment on Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. But yeah, I mean, even if they don't add a lot of good features, we're not, again, I keep saying the same point. But that's kind of you know I don't know. They kind of they kind of have us trapped. So hopefully. Pokemon Game Freak, um, you know, they make a good game not for money but for pleasing the audience. Because I think that, you know, <laughs> they don't have to make a game that pleases people, but it's, you know, well, what can we do? We're not, we're not them, so that's just kind of the sad truth about it, you know. They don't need to make a good game, um, and I think that's apparent from what we got. Oh shoot, I, I didn't know it would be this soon. Um, my dream has always been to make the people of the galaxy stronger, and this battle tower is making the dream come true. So come on, Quizzer. Think you and I can get even stronger too? A fierce battle is the only way to do it. Okay, we got Leon once again. Starting off with the absolute worst matchup, Ega Slash. The reason why is because Ega Slash. Um, I can't really do anything with Mercario. Um And the only thing that I actually have against Luke Slash is the uh, Hydragon here. Because Donna works really bad too, so. I'm gonna switch right away into Hydragon. Hopefully, they don't use like. Hopefully, he uses King Shield and not like um, Sword Stance. Because if they use Sword Stance, it then proceeds to like. Oh, perfect. And then proceeds to like um, Bullet Punch me. That wouldn't be good. We're just gonna Dark Pulse here. Um, King Shield isn't really going to do much because I'm a special attacker. And this, yeah, that's really good damage right there. Stance change, so they're going to change. Um, and Sacred Sword. Oh, I forgot it's, it has a, a fighting move. Okay. That's fine. Um, yeah, Aegislash just dies. Hopefully, they get to send out first. No, okay, I'm going to send out Gondor Worker because I'm expecting Charizard. And of course, we know we're gonna G Max a uh, Thunderbolt it. Mr. Rhyme, okay. Um, I actually have screen clear. I think we're just gonna go straight off. Um, I think Max, I'm just gonna go with the G Max, uh, uh Max Lightning here. Um, hopefully, the Mr. Rhyme doesn't do too much damage on my Gone of War. Because if it does too much damage on my Gone of War, and then the Charizard potentially one-shots her. And then uh, my Lucario isn't going to do anything against Charizard. 
So hopefully, well, he, he will do a little bit because um, he has a focus sash. Um, plus sucker punch. Oh no. Okay, hopefully this max lightning. I mean, I'm gonna get that lightning train, which is huge. Oh wait, no, I don't get the lightning train because um, I might have to use a different move. Okay, I'm just gonna use another max lightning. Hopefully this uh, it's another sucker punch. Okay, Charizard might be able to one shot the Garnival now. Um, hopefully this kills the Mr. Rhyme. I do have the max, the lightning train, so it doesn't do extra damage. Now we have one more hit on this, uh, one more G-Max hit for this Charizard. And hopefully the Charizard doesn't one-shot me here. And I do have lightning train, so this should one-shot the Charizard. And if it doesn't one-shot the Charizard, uh, I have Lucario, and Lucario can do a little bit of chip damage. Um, so honestly, I win this battle if the Charizard doesn't one-shot me here. Uh, we know Charizard's faster. Unfortunately, that's just, you know, Charizard outspeeds speeds my whole team, unfortunately. So hopefully this max strike doesn't kill the Dawn of War. Oh yeah, that, um, I mean, it will kill the Dawn next hit. Lowers my speed, that's fine. Lightning should do good damage here. And there we have it, Leon down. Again, Dawn of War carrying because, uh, yeah, she's the only Pokemon who I can use to kill Charizard. Probably should have more, but there we go. Uh, you never saw the prize, but you know that. I'm really astounded by how far you've come. Right then. Uh, let's move you up a rank. There's no limit when it comes to Pokemon. Keep on having a champion time. Now, that's an absolute... Now, that's an absolute champion time. The stronger you get, the more the trainers here at the battle have burned with the desire to be... Um, the one to beat you and break your streak. Their Pokemon are all sharpening their teeth and claws in anticipation. And I'll be putting away my greatest team ever too, naturally. So do your best to reach me at once. Right, you can take this. I reckon it'll fit you as well as it could anyone. You got the Bow Tower uniform. Interesting. I don't know what that can be. Congratulations, you max up in the ranks. You now, uh, you're now rank max. And that's not all. You reach the Master Ball tier. You earn, you earn a reward from moving up the ranks. Ten rare candies, which is huge. Three bottle caps. Ability capsule. Golden bottle cap, guys. That raises all the uh, that maxes all the IVs, which is fantastic. And the calm mint, which is crud. Uh, well, I mean, calm mint could be good actually on a good tank. So there we have it. That is, I think now that I'm max rank, if I lose battles, it doesn't really do anything. But yeah, I mean, I could do double battles, but I'm probably not gonna record any more battle tower. I probably will still have a little bit of fun when it comes to, um, I will still have a little bit more fun when it comes to, uh, the battle tower, but not on camera. Um, and yeah, I mean, that basically wraps things up. And when I mean wrap things up, I mean, um, I should have, um, I should have, um, what should I, what am I trying to say? I should have made, uh, the little montage, or not the montage, but like the, um, the speeded recording, as well as the, um, you know, my thoughts, or my overall thoughts on the game. But now just to wrap a few things up, I probably should have took a look at that uniform. Um, but that's fine. Um, but in this cave, I believe. In this cave. I don't know exactly where it is. So yeah, I'm basically done. Again, like I said, I'll probably... There's a Pokeball over there. I never got that. What the heck? Have I ever been here? I don't think I've been in this area. Yeah, that's awkward. Wait, what? Oh, I've actually... Guys, I guess we're exploring, because I didn't finish exploring this area. Rock Blast. Um, it, it hits like two to five times like Bullet Seed. Um, but I don't like the accuracy 100%. I don't really like moves like that, but yeah, there we go. I battled this trainer. I must have not continued. Interesting. But we see here, yes, guys. Here is Olina. How's it going? Um, 
Yeah, we meet Alina. Uh, we know Rose is somewhere in prison, and here's Alina. Oh, champion, I never thought I'd run into you in the mines. I've been doing some voluntary community service on Mr. Rose's behalf. Mr. Rose, a long time ago, he used to work in a coal mine, you know. That's why I'm actually happy doing this kind of work. Yes, I'm so happy. I think I'll give you one of my prize lead cards. Let me turn down the volume here a little bit. Um. Uh oh, I, I switched the screen. Now it's all crooked. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, you don't need to worry. I have a, I have a hundred copy of Mr. Rose's lead card. They're all signed too. I got Mr. Rose's rare lead card. Champion, thank you for stopping Eternatus. I know Mr. Rose feels the same way. But he was so, just so worried about the future. Mm-hmm. Oh, I wanted Olina's rare lead card. But I guess we only got, uh, roses. Right? Yep. Uh, you can tell, like, that. <laughs> There's a little bit of time gap. You have him in his casual uniform. Chairman Rose is is a dedicated philanthropist who spent who spent mo much of his own time and money researching the ancient disaster known as the Darkest Day, in order to solve Galar's energy issues. He firmly believes that actions speak louder than words, and will often make decisions without revealing um, his thinking to others. For better or for worse, it is this style of leadership that allowed the macrocosmos conglomerate to grow to where it is today. A uh, note above text is submitted by his secretary. <clears throat> there we go. And guys, for the first time in this playthrough, we are going to be using an item that, uh, uh, what's her name? Sonya gave us a long time ago. The escape rope. This game is so crappy that you can only use it in two places. Um, one more thing that I think I'm yet to do. I don't know exactly where it is. I think it's here. <clears throat> oh, by the way, now that I've beaten Leon in the battle tower, I think I can reface him in the champion. Um, but yeah, there's a. This is basically the, the elite four, or should I say, the elite three minus the champion. It's really lame. I battle like three trainers, and sometimes I battle hop or Leon or whatever. Um. Wait, I thought I can, uh, I thought the, I thought the ball guy gives you a lead card. Where does he give you the lead card? He must give you the lead card, um. Cause there's a ball guy that gives you the lead card. I wanna get all the lead cards. Uh, yes, I did search it up, so that's why I, like, I knew, um, Olina was in the mines. Cause otherwise I would never check the mines. Um. But yeah, I'll, I'll continue playing during the, um. I'll continue playing when the, uh, what's it called, when the expansion pass comes out. I'll probably record that because I think it'll be fun. Um, it'll change my uniform. Wait, where's the ball guy that has uh, the lead card? Wait, I'm confused. Okay, I'm just wasting, I'm just wasting time at this point, guys. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. I guess thank you for watching. That has been basically it. Um, I'll continue playing the game because um, there's still a few things I want to do. But at this point, it's kind of it's kind of. I mean, there's not there's not much to do in the game, so that's why it's like it's not much to do in the game. So that's just how it is. But we have to the battle tower uniform doesn't look that bad. It actually, looks pretty flashy. Um, but yeah. Anyways. That's gonna be it for me. Thank you again for watching. I just wanted to do, finish the Bow Tower. Um, oh, I, I guess quick thoughts on the Bow Tower. Pretty is much easier and lackluster than the other Bow Towers that we, we're used to. Um, I could have played better. I could have had better Pokemon. I could have hyper trained them, but uh, you know that's not that important. So yeah. Um, thank you for watching, and yeah, next time expansion pass. Most likely, that's what I'm gonna do.